Alrighty guys, it is the Dev King here back with another video and in today's video guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make tools. So look at this Look at that. Okay, so this is my first tool Well, not really because I've made tools before but anyways This is what a tool is and basically it's like a little weapon you can equip and you can make it do stuff So yes, yeah, so I press 1 and you know I equip it that's what a tool is now you've probably seen them before in Roblox games and they're pretty important I use them quite a bit and you probably will too so you need to know how to you need to know how to use them so anyways guys let's get right into this tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to make tools and all about them okay guys so first things first um, before we get into the video I just want to say if this is your first video by me please go to the link in the description and watch the ones all before this there's a playlist there you might get confused and you probably will get confused if you don't know the basics so um, yeah make sure to watch that and also guys welcome to your first episode of the advanced series okay you guys have graduated the, the, you, know, the you know you graduated the advanced or the beginner series that's, that's really awesome seriously guys it's like it's like um it's, it's something to be proud of okay so pat yourself on the back guys seriously you guys did a great job going all the way through that yeah, hopefully you did but um yeah and if you're new to this video like i said or if you're new to this video like i said please watch the beginner series first or else you're going to be really confused because this is the advanced stuff so yeah anyways so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial and uh show you all about tools okay all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. But um, also, guys, um, this video might be a little bit long because tools are pretty—they're not hard, but there's a lot that goes into them. So yeah. Okay, guys. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and make my tool. So in Roblox, you have these instances or instances called tools. So if you go over here into the workspace, you can go ahead and cl right-click it and then hit Insert Object, and then you can find Tool, right? And now basically. I already showed you what it is, but it basically you can equip and stuff like that. But if it's in the workspace, it actually won't go to your character. So you're going to need to move it to your starter pack. Now basically, right here, starter pack, what starter pack does is anything that's inside of this folder, starter pack, is going to go right into your character. And you'll have it in your inventory and you'll be able to use it. And that's basically what it is. So um, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and name our tool. We're going to call it... Um, B block sword okay so um, we're gonna make a block sword right so we're gonna go ahead and name it that and then we're going to go ahead and um, add a part into it okay so if you actually just have a tool the you know Roblox just knows that's what you need to equip but it doesn't know what the tool is supposed to look like right so you need to make a part now if it's in your starter pack you actually can't see the tool it's like in like the starter pack so you need to move, you need to move it back into your workspace to see it so yeah now we can mess with the parts and stuff okay so um right now i only want to make one like one part out of the tool okay so don't insert any more parts into here also it won't work that's a little bit more advanced we'll get into that later but for right now just use one part and we're going to make a little sword type thing now this is going to look really bad okay um i'm going to try to see if i can change the shape it's like a cylinder maybe um okay that that doesn't look good at all but you know what this is gonna be our sword okay now listen pretend, pretend this is a sword okay so i'm gonna make it like no no not, not black okay um we're gonna make it the uh, there you go that color okay pastel yellow okay this is our sword right now okay and now if we go ahead and move this back to our starter pack we can start the game and actually actually before we do that don't start the game i forgot to mention one thing you need to make sure that your um your part inside of the workspace right or not sorry inside the workspace your part inside of the tool is named handle because basically roblox needs to know what you like what part of the tool needs to be a handle and right now we only have one part so obviously it's the only part we have so make sure you guys rename that handle and make sure it has a capital h2 or else this will not work so yeah so basically it's kind of weird but it needs to be spelled exactly like that handle just like that and then it'll work um you know good so yeah make sure it's named handle with the part and uh yeah you should be good you can keep the tool name whatever you want but the handle or the part needs to be named handle or one of the parts need to be so anyways now that we started that um or now that we put that um set that out put that in the starter pack so that way it'll go into our character so now let's go ahead and hit play and show you some stuff about tools okay so let's go ahead and play and Okay, and boom, we got our first tool, and I'm, I'm holding it sideways, okay? You don't need to make your tool look like mine. If you want to, you can, but yeah. I, I <laughs> Okay, anyway, so this is what it looks like, right? I'm holding it out, and um, I obviously I can rotate it, and I can do stuff like that to it, but um, yeah. But yeah, okay, so one more thing about tools you guys need to know. When you have a tool, right, right now, um, it was in the starter pack, so that it went from the starter pack right to players to my player, because... 
you know, that's the only person playing the game. And then it went to my backpack, okay, because it's a starter pack, and then it goes right to the backpack. Basically, that's what starter pack does, right? So then, right now, it's in my backpack. Now, if I were to equip the sword, it disappears. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, why, did it, why is it not in your backpack anymore? Basically, when you have a tool equipped in Roblox, it actually gets ready, it goes out of your backpack, and it goes into your character. Now, okay, now, let me explain one more quick thing. So, there's... Okay, in Roblox Studio, there's players and there's characters. Now, players and characters are pretty much the same thing, but the difference between the two is that a player is like this thing right here, right? It's like the little, it's the, it's a player. You see the little icon there, right? And players, that's what a player is, okay? It's named Tapwater RB Elect, which is my username, right? But there's also a character, and the character is in the workspace because, you know, everyone in the game needs to be able to see your character, and, I, you know, you want to see it too. Because if you move your character into the, oh, crap. If you move your character into the, um, I just messed something up, okay. If you move your character into the players, it wouldn't work, I don't think. So, um, yeah. So that's what your, uh, character is. It's the thing in the workspace, and basically all, like, the parts of you, like you see, you have your foot, you have your, all that stuff, that's what the character is. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys get that, because that's pretty important. Anyways, um, that's what, I'm, okay, so yeah. Basically, it goes from your, um, backpack into your player. As you can see here, it's now a, a, a child of my player. Or I'm, I'm sorry, it goes from my backpack into my character. I'm so sorry. And so now it's a child of my back or of my character. Okay, jeez. <laughs> I hope you guys get what I'm saying. You see, it teleports back and forth. Okay, as you can see there. So um, yeah, when I have it equipped, it's in there, and then when I don't have it equipped, it's in my backpack. Anyways, that's pretty important. Okay. Now, second thing, second, I need to go ahead and show you guys. Um, um, yeah, okay, okay. Now I need to m show you guys, like, how to make the tool do something. Now you're probably wondering, okay, we made the tool, now I want to make it actually, like, kill someone. And maybe maybe not that, but, <laughs> you know, maybe you want to make it kill, like, a make a block, okay? So we're going to make a part here, just to test it out. And we're going to name this part, um, we're going to call this part, um, destroy me, okay? <laughs> and, wait, crap, uh, destroy me. Uh, destroy me. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want our sword, whenever it's equipped, we want it to break this part whenever it touches it. So, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is insert a script into our tool. So, make a script and put it into your tool. And then we're going to go ahead and cut all this out. And also, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a few of the events of the uh, for the tool, which you need to know. So, I'm going to go and open the object browser over here and scroll down to tool. Okay, and here we go. All right, so um, all these are pretty much the basic events that every um, object has. The, these these uh, six are here, whatever. But the ones you want to look at are activated, um, deactivated, and unequipped and equipped. Okay, so they're pretty simple. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you what they all do. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, that was, okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and assign the tool to a variable so we can have it pretty easily. So local tool equals uh, script dot parent. Okay, now we're going to do tool.activated um, connect function. Now you should know what I'm doing right now because this is, we learned this in the last, um, or we learned this in the beginner series, so you should know how to do this. And then we're going to go ahead and make it print. Um, you clicked me. You clicked me. Or, okay, okay. Basically, what tool.activated does, right? Tool.activated basically means. Whenever you click with the tool in, like it, it's activated, so whenever you click the tool and you have it equipped, basically what it'll do is it'll run this event right here. So it's gonna fire off um, activated, and we'll go ahead and test it out real quick to make sure it works, and um, yeah. So look, click and boom, see? I can click anywhere, but, um, and then it activates. Now what we wanna do that is we want it, whenever it activates, we want it to break this part is what we wanna do, so um, yeah. Anyways, let me show you some more events for it first, and then we'll do that in a second. So we're gonna do tool dot deactivated. Now, basically, tool dot deactivated means if you um, like, it, it runs right after you deactivate the, the tool. So like, I'm pretty sure if you like hold it right. So if you're, um, oh wait, crap, I don't think I put a thing in there. But yeah, if you hold like the the tool down when you haven't equipped, basically it's gonna stay activated. But then when you let go, it's gonna deactivate. So we're gonna go ahead and print. Um, I got deactivated, okay, and, and the tool's sad now, okay, he's sad because he got deactivated, okay, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> alright, so let's see if this works, oh wait, I put a parentheses in there, that's, that's gonna give me an error, I think, I don't know, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna put it, there we go, he's happy now, okay, um, anyways, <laughs> okay, um, 
here we go let's click and then see it's activated right now i'm holding down my mouse button i'm holding it down and then let go I got deactivated and he's happy about that. All right, so cool, it does work. Okay, so that's basically what those do. Um, those are pretty useful events and that's basically how you detect if it clicked. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you tool.equipped, which is pretty simple, guys. It's basically if you equip the tool, it uh, runs. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So um, uh, let's go ahead and print. Yay, you are using me. Okay, so basically now whenever I um, equip the tool, it's going to be happy because I'm using him. See? And then if I click, it's going to activate, and then if I let go, it's going to deactivate. So there you go. And unequipped basically is, it's pretty simple. It's basically when you, you know, un unequip it, it's what, you know, that's what the event does. So it's going to be the syntax for that is tool.unequipped. So I'm not going to show you guys that one because it's pretty simple. You know what that means. But um, yeah. Anyways, now let's go ahead and make it so um, it actually runs um, we're to, I, we actually want to do what the script says. Okay, we're, I'm sorry, sorry. We want to make it so whenever we activate the tool, it breaks that part right here. Okay, so this destroy me part. All right, so what we're going to do now is write some code. So we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to do tool to activate it. So whenever it's activated, we want it to um, destroy this thing. So we're going to go ahead and get the variable of that or assign a variable to that destroy me thing right there. So just so that the, the, load, the code doesn't get too long in one line. So also let me zoom in. Hopefully that's kind of good. Uh, so game dot workspace dot destroy me. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna do destroy me, destroy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, um, basically what this uh, destroy function does is it's a, a built-in function in Roblox that just destroys the part in in the game or in the entire like memory. Okay. So basically it's gonna delete. So um, yeah. So now we're gonna just whenever we activate, it's gonna destroy that part. And let's make sure it works. And oh, there we go. Come on, come on. And there you go. We, we don't have to look at it or anything. We can just destroy it from anywhere. But and boom, it destroyed. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I like that. Okay, so yeah, that's um, what the activated uh, thing does, and that's some practical use for it. And um, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy the video, guys. Seriously, it may, helps a lot. So leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Which you which you shouldn't be new. Okay, you should be already subscribed. Okay, what what are you doing, man? But anyways. That's the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, we might have some more stuff explaining tools later on. I'm not too sure, but um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, congratulations for completing your first tutorial of the Advanced Series. I hope you understood. This was a pretty fun thing to start off with, so I wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, um, in the Advanced Series, we're going to learn some like stuff about mouses. Or sorry, not mouses, but like using your mouse to click stuff. Um, like some other, like, oh, like a remote function, stuff like that. And then we'll have a GUI series coming soon after the advanced series. And once you know pretty much all the syntax and, uh, you know, understand Lua pretty well. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.